another spirited spring practice in the books here on the banks of the Severn River. I'm joined by rising junior Raider Luke Pierce. And what have your impressions been of this spring camp? Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of a lot of uh, intent on what we're doing. We're doing, doing a lot better tackling, and we're really focusing on just like the fundamentals. And it's good to see everybody again after it. What is it like for you in a camp like this? Because you came in last year trying to make yourself known and, and really stand out. Now you know what you have a role on the team. What's it like for you coming into spring camp knowing what your role is? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously better being in this situation, but I'm just trying to learn every day and obviously just like taking time in the in the meeting room, just like learning my, my job and also learning everybody else's job, which is honestly going to help me a lot more as a player. So. And you talk about your job, the Raider. Explain what the Raider does. Uh, it's like an outside linebacker, like a hybrid defensive end almost, and uh, drop into coverage sometimes and then also rush the passer. So. Yeah, it's, it's a very diverse position. And you've got to get up the field and back down the field. And you're up against a lot of guys sometimes that uh, outweigh you by mm -hmm. a lot. What is that like when you're up against some, some of the guys who are a little bit bigger than you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, I, it, it's obviously uh, it's tough to go up against some guys who are like 330 pounds. But uh, <laughs> I'm able to use my speed. And I've honestly done a good job this offseason of adding weight. So I'm continuing to do that each and every day, just eating more calories and uh, get to as much like as heavy as possible, but um, yeah, just this off season, just mostly getting bigger. So. And what was it like for you last year? I know you start the season off in a backup role, but then there's an injury and you jump right in and you never look back. Yeah, I mean you got to approach every day like like you're the starter. Um, coach just said it like like you got to attack every rep. You can't you can't let up and. If you, if you do that, then you'll just be ready whenever your, your time comes. What is it like for you having all your defensive coaches back? You've got the same Coach Brown, you've got Coach yep. Volker, and your head coach was a former defensive coordinator, Coach Newberry. What's it like having them all back with that continuity throughout your time here at the Naval Academy? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. Just we're really able to roll on the season from where we were at the end of last season, and we got a lot of returners. So I'm excited for what we're going to do this season. And it seems like each year, Coach Volker and Coach Newberry, and now Coach Brown add some new elements. Do you find that in spring camp that you're putting in some new wrinkles to things you did last year? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's always room to improve, and you gotta, you gotta. It's it's always good just learning new stuff, and you can always get better. So, so yep. What is it about this defense that Coach Volker has, where you guys run to the ball? I mean, you were fortunate to recover three fumbles last year, and one of the top guys in all of college football. What is it about this defense that creates the turnovers, but you recover those balls? Yeah, I mean, I think you can tell if you watch our practice, it's established in practice. Uh, we prioritize elite effort, attitude, and toughness, and if you focus on that, then it will translate to the game, and that's why I was able to recover so many fumbles, and that's why our entire defense was able to do so well last year. And it's also neat with your position coach, Coach Brown. He's one of those guys who's been there, done that, mm -hmm. and understands what you're going through. Does that mean a lot? Yeah, I mean, a guy like him who – not only is, a, is he a great coach, but he, he played in the NFL for, for about like 10 years. He understands the game a lot more than anybody else because he sees it from both sides and he's really able to relate to all of us players. And that's that's huge, honestly, as a as a player, being, being able to learn from a guy like that. As a defensive unit, what was the goal for you guys in spring practice? Just to honestly get better, uh, learn your role and learn the people around you, their role and just be a cohesive unit that's able to really attack every day and just be a, an aggressive defense. Nice thing in spring practice is that uh, you go against the ones, the starters on offense. What's impressed you the most about this new offense that Coach Chronic's brought here? Oh, he, he brings an electric offense. There's a lot of motions. There's a lot of uh, just misdirection stuff that you got to really be locked in as a defense. And if you don't have the right key and you're not making the right read, then it's it's going to be trouble for defenses this, up, this upcoming season. Do you find yourself in more of a leadership role now that you're going into your junior year knowing that you're going to be one of those guys that's counted on, that younger players are going to be looking to? Absolutely, yeah. I'm, that's one thing I'm trying to develop is just like being a more vocal leader. And obviously, you got to lead by example. Um, People will follow if they see you doing stuff, so good good and bad. So I'm just trying to be as good of an example as possible. As the year winds down on the yard, what are you looking forward to most outside of football when you come back here in the fall? Uh, well, I'll spend a lot of time in the weight room and stuff with my teammates, so 
really looking forward to these summer workouts where we get after it, so it'll be a fun time. And what do you do uh, for your military uh, responsibilities during the summer? I'll be going on a surface cruise for about a month, and I'm hoping to go down to Mayport, Florida. That's, that's, I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, so. You're from golf country, right? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Pretty excited about the Masters? Yeah, um, I think Tiger's gonna win it, but that's <laughs> my opinion. <laughs> you heard it here first. And when you come back in the fall and, and things get real serious, is that when, do you see it go up another level? Of course, you guys are going hard in the spring, but then when you know you've got games coming and opponents, is, is it always up another notch? Yeah, I mean, I feel like spring ball is just meant for you to get better as an individual. And then when fall rolls around, like there's kind of that that uh, hurry to get become a veteran. Uh, Coach Brown says you got, you got a race to become a veteran. And like during the fall, that just ramps up a little bit. And there's always that, that looming uh, idea of the games coming up. So. Now, you had a brother who went to Mercer, even though he wasn't there when Coach Chronic was here. He probably had some buddies were there. Mm -hmm. any, uh, any buzz that you've gotten from him about Coach Chronic? Yeah, he was the first one to notify me that Coach <laughs> Chronic came here. And uh, I was super excited about it. He said that all of his friends said it was, it was, uh, he's an awesome guy and he's someone that you want to be coached by. So, I mean, th that's what I've seen so far, and I'm sure that that's exactly how he'll be in the future. And one awesome guy here, a rising junior, Luke Pierce, a Raider on the Navy defense.